Hello, my name is Oween Courtney, the Director of Formation and Spirituality here at St. John's Cathedral. And I'm here this morning to talk to you about the music for the upcoming Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Advent and Christmas Eve. To celebrate that rare coming together of these two holy days, we are offering a parish-wide Christmas pageant during the service at 10 o'clock in the morning as the gospel and the sermon, of which we invite each of you to be a part. We will be using Madeline Langle's beautiful telling of the Christmas story called The Glorious Impossible, and we will invite anyone in the congregation who feels called to come to the manger and be present at the telling of the Nativity. For our music, we will be singing simple and familiar songs one so simple, it is not even in the hymnal. You may remember it from childhood Christmas pageants. It's called The Friendly Beasts, and it's a traditional Christmas song about the gifts that a donkey and a cow and a sheep and the dove might have brought to Jesus at the Nativity. It was originated in 12th century France and set to the melody of a Latin song. And many artists, since it was written, have performed it and offered it as a beautiful Christmas carol. We will also be singing Away in a Manger, a Christmas carol first published in the late 19th century and used widely throughout the English-speaking world. Um, it, has, it was said that German religious reformer Martin Luther may have uh, written this, but it is now thought to be wholly American in origin. We will also be singing Angels We Have Heard on High, which is a Christmas carol to the hymn tune known as Gloria from a traditional French song. And the paraphrased English lyrics were written by James Chadwick. The Psalms, song subject is the birth of Jesus Christ as narrated in the Gospel of Luke, specifically the scene outside Bethlehem in which shepherds encounter a multitude of angels singing and praising the newborn child. The next song we will, the next hymn we will be singing is Silent Night, a popular Christmas carol composed in 1818 by Franz Gruber but especially um, for us, we in the Diocese of Florida, it is remembered as a piece that Second Bishop of Florida, John Freeman Young, wrote and published the English translation for, and that's what we remember when we use this hymn today. And finally, we will close with the ever popular Christmas carol that sings with all the emotions we're feeling, Joy to the World, written in 1719 um, by an English minister and hymn writer, Isaac Watts. And it is uh, a lyrical composition of Psalm 98. And we will be singing it to end our time together. I hope you'll join us for this gloriously impossible celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. Hope to see you there.